sociology is the study of human society. Broad topic, but we're interested in human values, human behavior, the things that bind us together as people. Particularly, we're interested in social structures. And by that, we mean things like the family, the political system, the economic system, um, structures that control our everyday lives in some way, but also give us opportunities to pursue different uh, options in our everyday lives. If you're interested in issues like poverty and inequality, or the role of technology and how it's changing the way we live, or how media affects society, uh, sociology provides uh, a great insight into all those sorts of issues. At Capilano University, we have a wide range of courses that cover all of that and more. So if people are interested, I would say go to the Capilano website, go to the sociology website, learn more about the instructors and the courses uh, and then you can get involved and you can start looking at the world through those new eyes that sociology provides. A course in the social sciences division is a three credit course which is a standard university course. When you take sociology 100 or 101 you've got your three credits. At Capilano University that means you're eligible to take any of the other sociology courses. However, I would really recommend that you take both of our first year courses, Sociology 100 and 101, because when you put them together as a six credit package, you've actually got first year sociology. And when you transfer to another institution, you're automatically promoted to second year and you're already on your way to getting a major or a minor in sociology. I really recommend that you take one of our courses. Where else do you get the opportunity to talk about anything and everything that's going on in society around you? And you're earning three credits at the same time. You can start by taking Sociology 100 or 101. And after that, if you want to take other courses, you've already got the prerequisites. I hear so often from students that while they were here pursuing their programs for a year, a two, year, two years or longer, Taking a sociology course ended up having a big impact on them for their future. Sociology 100 looks at social structures. And by social structures, we mean, for example, we all grow up in a family and we experience the family as individuals. But we can step back and say, how have families changed? How has the structure of families changed? Uh, you know, in the 1950s, 60s, they said a family was mom and dad and two kids and a picket fence. Today we know families aren't like that. Blended families, same-sex families, uh, single-parent families. So we try to understand the link between that individual level of how we experience the family and the big picture society level of how families have changed and why. It's important to know about social structures because they affect us directly. They limit our life chances. They uh, push us in one direction or another. So if we want to push back, if we want to change society, we need to know how these structures work. Even as individuals, if we want to know something like, what are the new jobs going to be 10 years down the line that I should be preparing uh, to work in? Um, you know, how is technology going to change the way that we relate to each other? These are the kinds of tools that Sociology 100 gives students to figure out these big questions that affect them in a real, everyday sort of way. If you're interested in issues of inequality, uh, the rise of the 1%, the fact that just 1% of the global population today controls almost 50% of global wealth, if you're interested in racial inequality, uh, not just as kind of incorrect attitudes that people carry around in their heads, but the economic, social, political structures that encourage racism, that create racial inequality. Uh, if you're interested in popular culture and media, the way that uh, we in society affect the media, but also how the media affects us and changes our attitudes. All of those different issues are covered in Sociology 100. All of them connect with people's everyday lives, these, these forces that really shape how we live from day to day. And that's one of the real values of Sociology 100. Have you ever wondered about how our 
world is becoming more and more globalized, more and more connected. We often look at things like technology, communications, transportation. 150 years ago, Karl Marx laid out a whole social theory about how and why that happened. And it's a theory that still bears up today. In Sociology 101, Concepts and Theories of Society, we go back to some of those older thinkers, sometimes 100 years ago, as well as the most contemporary current thinkers looking at the world today, how they explain how the world works, what's changed, and what stayed the same. In addition to looking at the broader theories, we're always trying to link those back to specific real-world examples. So we look at uh, the causes of suicide. We look at sex and gender, sexuality, the different roles for men and women in society. We look at the rise of bureaucracies and the fact that we're all having to deal with these faceless governments, faceless corporations in our lives. We're interested in prisons and surveillance and the rise of the surveillance state watching our every move. We even look at things like the rise of totalitarian movements like the Nazis and how something like the Holocaust could ever take place in our modern societies. So a whole range of different real world issues that we're connecting to these broader social theories. Sociology 101 presents theories that are very critical of the world and often challenge our assumptions about how the world works, kind of tear back the, the curtain to look at the forces behind. And that's useful as citizens thinking about the world, but it's also something that's really useful in the real world. Businesses, for example, are looking for people who can think critically, who can think outside the box, right? Right? who can challenge the assumed way of doing things. It's really useful in journalism, in government positions, um, in all sorts of areas of the work world where people who can think on their feet, think independently, are really valued. Sociology 101 lays out some of the most insightful theories of society. Um, it's a great course to get started on understanding sociology and society. You can take it every term. We offer it in September, in January. Uh, there's no requirement to take any other courses before or after. So it's a great first step to understanding the world in a more critical and insightful way. Criminology is the study of the causes of crime and then how we can prevent crime. A lot of us in Canada don't really know a lot about crime in our own society because we learn so much of our knowledge about crime from American television shows and American news. So one of the reasons why you should take criminology is to actually find out the facts about your own society. If you really are concerned about public safety and about preventing crime, then you need to understand the reality of your own society before you can actually make any changes that would be um, realistic and constructive. So here are some examples of the myths that Canadians have about crime. A big one is that we all want to protect the women we know from sexual assault. But most of us imagine that the perpetrator is a stranger who's lurking in the darkness. The fact is most sexual assaults occur between people who know each other quite well. Here's another myth. A lot of us think that most of the victims of crime are helpless senior citizens or, again, females. The fact is, most people who are victimized by crime are males between the ages of 15 and 26. So in fact, parents should be more concerned about their boys than about their girls. Another reality about crime in Canada is that it's been dropping steadily for 25 years. Yet politicians will try to scare us and tell us that crime is out of control in Canada and that if we don't vote for them, we're all going to be at risk of being victimized by criminals. And it's just not true. So that's why I think you should take criminology. The way to really understand your society um, and try to prevent crime or uh, go into a career that has to do with um, crime prevention or policing or being a probation officer is to first develop an accurate understanding of your own society. And the best place to get that is by taking a criminology course. And at Capilano University, we offer Criminology 101, 
which is the first uh, criminology course that anybody has to have if they're going to uh, major in criminology in the future. Whether you think you want a career in law enforcement or criminology, or whether you're just somebody who wants to understand your own society a lot better, and you'd like to see us have a safer society, I think taking CRIM 101 is one of the best things you can do.